Uh, I know it was one of the most stacked cards. And as we're getting ready for that pay-per-view, I'm pumped to see what CM Punk and MJF are going to do. And I know that you and I talked about that last week about what if, and boy, did you call it or what MJF is still the slim, uh, the slimy snake that we always thought he was. Yeah, that was really fun. And, and I was hoping that that MJF would, would, as I said last week, you know, get everybody in the palm of his hands with that super, um, just amazing baby face promo. He did suck them all in, let them get their, drop their guard lead with their chin emotionally as they're coming in to give you a big hug. Their chin is right there and just knock them the fuck out and, and, and do some evil shit. And MJF did it. I, I, I did see it. I didn't see it live. But you texted me and said, hey, are you watching this? And I, I wasn't, but I did go back and watch it. And, you know, I'll be critical for, and this is constructive criticism. And it's just based on my taste and my opinion. So it does, there's no right or wrong, folks. As we talk about things like this, and I know the perception is that I'm anti-AEW, which is nothing could be farther from the truth, actually. Um but it doesn't mean that I don't see things from my unique perspective that only matters to me. I don't expect it to matter to anybody else. I could have done with less blood. Mm. You could have had the same effect. The story could have advanced. And actually I think it less in terms of the quantity of blood that you see in a situation like that, less actually is more. It does look more believable. The only time you see people bleed like that is when it's intentional within the, the, the scope of professional wrestling. You know, you don't see that in, in UFC. You don't see that in boxing. You don't, people don't bleed like that. I think this is a weird conversation to be even having, but if you're going to do it, don't overdo it because it actually detracts from the intended consequences. And I know head wounds are a little bit tough, by the way. Head wounds bleed really easy. And you bleed a lot, especially when you're out there. You know, your heart rate's probably doing 170, 180 beats a minute. I get it. But beyond that, and that's personal preference, that's all that is. Beyond that, flawless execution, great storytelling. MJF is the shit. He is, <laughs> he is the shit, man. I dig him in his work. Um, great, great scene, great story. And I don't know if I'll buy the pay-per-view because we have friends coming over for dinner Sunday night, but I may. If I don't, I'll, I'll probably buy it and watch it afterwards because I'm really anxious to see how that evolves. You know, hats, hats off to CM Punk, hats off, super hats off to MJF. Beautiful setup. Great execution leading into the pay-per-view. Let's see what it looks like coming out. I, I absolutely loved it. I, um, I do want to say, I, I don't think the, the magic behind, uh, well, getting color as they say is an exact science. I mean, you know, you do your best, but sometimes there's more than you expected. Sometimes there's less than you expected, but the visual of, of him in the white shirt and boy, it's coming out. And, you know, me as a longtime wrestling fan who watched the old stuff from ring of honor and a lot of the early stuff from CM punk, the parallels were right there. And that's one of my favorite things that punk has done since he's been back is there's almost a tip of the cap to the stuff he did at the beginning of his career. And I'm not going to say he's at the end, but certainly he's in a different time in his life. And it's made for really, really great television. I think creatively they're onto something with that, uh, punk and MJF are, uh, probably the talk of the internet today, I would think, uh, now there's lots of other rumors about what might happen at the pay-per-view, but by the time you're listening to this, you know, what did happen. So we won't spend any more time on that. 